Hi everyone, this is DM Nell, and I'm back with another edition of my Shadow of the Demon Lord talk video series. Uh, for tonight, I'm going to be doing two uh, short videos. Uh, the first one is uh, episode 19, and this one is dealing with some new releases that have come out of Schwalb Entertainment. Um, I want to just kind of highlight these. I'm not going to do a review or anything like that. Actually, I haven't had a chance to read through all of these. In fact, the uh, the one that's showing on my screen right now, Cult Philosophy, uh, was just released yesterday. So I'm super excited about this. I've only been able to kind of skim through uh, this supplement. But uh, what I've seen so far I love uh, seems to be uh, living up to uh, the what was advertised in the Kickstarter. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to, to give you guys a quick and dirty overview of this product and uh, maybe talk a few, a few of you into buying it because, um, you know, quite honestly, this is, this is my favorite uh, RPG, as I've said in other videos, and uh, it really deserves more um, exposure. And, um, you know, the more money I can throw uh, to the direction of Robert Schwab, the more stuff he's going to make for me for this game. And ultimately, it's all about me and having more stuff. So uh, that's that's why I'm doing this. So anyway, uh, Occult Philosophy is a Kickstarter that uh, was done several months back. Um, in fact, this book wasn't even supposed to be released until, what, November of this year, I think, uh, was the date that he originally committed to. And uh, here it is late uh, July, and he's already already released it. So this guy is, is just an amazing uh, producer of content. Uh, for his game, and uh, he's worthy of every praise that you can you can give him, and all the money you can throw at him. All right, so just uh, looking at occult philosophy, this is a big spell of magic, or big spell of magic. This is a big book of magic, and um, he actually talks about that in his uh, preface. Uh, the inspiration for this book is is basically all the other books of magic that have uh, come before like the Tome of Magic for 2nd Edition, the Spell Compendium for 3rd Edition. Uh, I would even say there was a Tome of Magic for 3rd Edition um, that he worked on. Um, had some awesome stuff in it. But anyway, um, he worked on Fantasy Roleplay, Supplements, uh, Realms of Sorcery, and Tome of Corruption. So he's got... Um, you know, he this is inspired by the, all those works, at, and some of which he worked on. So, um, you know, just pretty freaking awesome stuff and the um you can see the table of contents everything that's included in here he's got you know the, basically the first chapter talks about uh, magic uh, all the attributes you know this is a lot of the stuff that was in the core rule book um, but it has to be repeated here because you're dealing with a book full of spells and you don't have to read you know uh, go between two books to be able to figure out how to cast a spell. So all everything um, pertaining to magic and how to cast it and how to read all the spell descriptions uh, is included in that first introductory chapter. And then it also talks a little bit about rank six and higher spells. The original court rule book only had spells that uh, were ranked up to fifth uh, level or fifth, uh, rank five, I should say. Um, and there have been other, there have been some supplements that have re released um, some spells of a higher rank. Um, and a source of confusion that a lot of players have had with this game is that the tables produced, uh, that were provided in the core rulebook, um, they actually show, you know, magic going up to rank 10 and the power level going up to rank, uh, or to level 10. So, but you know, going through the normal leveling process in the core rulebook, you can only get your character up to power five. So this book explains why there are rank six and above level spells and how those might be attained. And so that's what that little, this little section on page 11 is all about. The next section is all the spells, and this is the meat and potatoes of this book. You have every tradition in the game um, presented, and you have spells from zero, from rank zero to rank 10. So every spell has rank six through 10 um, spells in it, in this book, which is something that the, uh, none of the other supplements have, uh, have had, you know, that, that much of uh, comprehensive um, level six through 10 spells. So, you know, that in and of itself was worth the money for me for this book, but, um, 
you know, having all the other spells of zero to five, the fifth level to supplement what's already been produced in other, uh, other products is, you know, just adds more options to your spellcasters. And if you're like me, I love playing spellcasters. I love wizards. I love sorcerers. I love warlocks. Not so much uh, the the clerical types. Um, that's not my jam. But you know the the arcane spellcasters I've always enjoyed uh, playing. And so if I ever get to play again, uh, rather than running games, then uh, I'll have uh, tons of shit to choose from. So uh, this this uh, again this book is just chock full of spells. Um, lots of uh, super powerful spells at rank ten. Uh, I haven't read all of them. I've only kind of skimmed through the book and read uh, some of them. And I have to say, you know, my first go-to is the uh, forbidden, uh, <laughs> the forbidden tradition, because you know, who, those are the best spells. Come on, let's let's be honest. The forbidden spells are the best spells in this game. So I read a few of those, and that got me chuckling. Um, there's some pretty pretty gruesome stuff in there, uh, but even so, the, you know, just all all of the. Um, all of the traditions got uh, their fair share of uh, love in this book. So, um, you know, just uh, tons to choose from. So anyway, I, like I said, I'm not going to review this because I haven't read through this as of yet. Uh, maybe I'll save that for a future book uh, or a future video. But I do want to um, just kind of highlight the things that are in this, uh, this, this book. So um, the next section is Creatures of Magic. And this, it has some uh, creatures that are already been presented in other supplements uh, and some new stuff. So uh, it's got the angel, which was in um, uh, the hell supplement. Uh, the, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, animated corpses was, was in the core rule book. Uh, then we have animated plants, animated tree. Apparition was in one of the supplements. I believe the Arion charger is new. Uh, I believe brownie was in the, um, the Fae supplement. Construct was in one of the um, one of the smaller supplements uh, dealing with um, clockworks and constructs. Um, demons were highlighted in a lot of products. Uh, Face of Servant is new. Fire Imp, I think, is new. Um, so I think there's a lot of uh, updates and uh, some changes that were made to existing creatures, and then some new creatures have been added as well. So that's what that next uh, chapter is all about. The chapter following that uh, is a shit ton of uh, magical paths. So paths of magic, including the expert paths. Uh, you can see Ascendant. I'm really, really wanting to read the Brewmaster uh, and find out what that's all about. Uh, Magister looks interesting. Um, so yeah, just a lot of uh, cool stuff under the expert paths. And then master paths. Um, you have an alienist, you have an annihilator, uh, chrononaut, just in, t tons of interesting stuff. Sky dancer, uh, phase shifter, that sounds cool. Uh, mage blade, that sounds familiar. Um, void thrall, uh, I, yeah, I just can't wait to dive into this. So the last section of the book is the legendary path. And this basically just uh, reiterates how you can get past 10th level in this game uh, by taking legendary paths. And it uh, pretty much copies the, um, the section out of Forbidden Rules and uh, puts it in this book. I think Forbidden Rules were basically optional rules. And I think this is his way of uh, codifying the uh, levels above, above 10th level. Um, so anyway, that is the... Um, occult philosophy book, and you know, I, you know, I can't go through this whole thing uh, simply because my computer isn't fast enough to keep up. But you can see it's got original art, um, some pretty cool looking stuff, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a, a it's a pretty book, and it's just full. It's it's full of goodness. So anyway, that is occult philosophy. Uh, awesome stuff there. Also wanted to talk about some of the other new releases. Um, for Monstrous Pages, he um, Schwab Entertainment has released We Are Legion, and this is a product that highlights a uh, monster that I really haven't used in a game as of yet. Uh, but it is the Broodling, um, and it, it kind of uh, gives 
uh, a lot of information and background as these supplements do for this monster uh, and this creature and um, you know but really gives it a reason for existing in the world of rural um, or the world world of earth the continent of rural and um, you know, this supplement goes into a whole lot of detail as to why, uh, how they were created, why they were created, and what the uh, broodlings are up to these days. So um, that is uh, expanding the monstrous, um, oh, what's it called? The monstrous, you find it in my monstrous pages. Um line of the uh, the monstrous pages line of the shadow of the demon lord game so um the other thing i wanted to highlight was a broodling uh centric uh, adventure that was released recently it's called a mother's burden and this is an expert adventure it is uh, i want to say it's about seven or eight pages long Uh, yep, eight pages long, and it uh, focuses on broodlings. So those two uh, products go hand in hand, and um, the uh, the adventure is kind of creepy. I don't know if I'm going to actually run it myself, but um, you know the 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 broodlings are pretty creepy uh, monsters in and of themselves. This adventure takes uh, full advantage of that. So uh, I advise, uh, advise you to check it out uh, on Drive-Thru RPG. I think it costs a couple bucks. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to uh, highlight? Okay, Quintet. This is another adventure that's fairly new. Um, I picked it up recently because I wanted to um, uh, run it in my current campaign. And it's actually the, the, uh, the game that I'm running right now. Um, I was supposed to run tonight, but my game got canceled. But um, yeah, I'm about halfway through this adventure, and so far it's been uh, pretty pretty fun. Um, action packed. There's lots of um, lots of uh, 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 adversaries for the uh, characters to encounter. Um, as you can tell by the uh, design here, it, it focuses on uh, creatures from hell, and it's uh, it's pretty brutal. Uh, so I highly recommend this adventure. It's pretty good. It was written by Scott Fitzgerald Gray and um, You know good stuff. So that is uh, another adventure uh, There was some more stuff. I wanted to oh, yeah, the um, the cities of the Confederacy of the of nine um, I have been waiting for quite a while for that series to complete and I can now say that it is completed. The recent supplements of the City of um, Wonder and the City of Gods and the City of Dreams um, pretty much put uh, you know top the series off. So all nine books are now available for the uh, Confederacy of Nine Cities, uh, starting with City of Blood, City of Chains, City of Death. City of Decay, City of Dreams, City of God, City of Gold, City of Thieves, and City of Wonder. Um, each one of them details each of the cities, and it's just um, each you know every one of these cities is is a fun place to start an adventure or to at least in, feature in your adventure. Uh, the Confederacy of Nine Cities is one of the main reasons why I started this campaign, so that I could take my players through each or at least as many of these cities as I could um, in a um, in a campaign. Uh, and so far they've made it to three cities, two cities. They're on their way to the third one. So I'm, I'm not getting through them very quickly, but uh, um, yeah, they, they'll, they'll make it to at least three, maybe four cities by the end of it. Um, so uh, yeah, so that is a part of the uh, the setting uh, series. And I believe that there's going to be another one that comes out here in a couple of weeks that details the Kingdom of Skulls. We already have the Kingdom of Sails and the Kingdom of God. 
And uh, now we're going to get the Kingdom of Skulls here in a couple of weeks. So, uh, you know, once again, um, Robert Schwab is just a, uh, he, he's a robot. He's got to be. There's no way this man is human. He's just putting out way too much content to to actually be able to um, uh, to, to, to exist as a mortal. Um, okay, so those are pretty much all of the things that I wanted to talk about in today's session, uh, or in today's video, or the first video anyway. I wanted to keep this short and just kind of um, just kind of pimp some of the new stuff that is being released by Schwab Entertainment, and really again just encourage as many people as I can to uh, support uh, this game and this company because it's uh, it's just awesome stuff. There is just so much product, so much source material, and it's all quality stuff. I mean, I don't think I, I don't think there is a supplement that I've regretted picking up, and I, and that I haven't enjoyed just even just reading through for its own entertainment value, uh, let alone to use in a game. I, I would love to use every single thing that's been produced so far, and I just don't think I have that many years left uh, in my life to be able to squeeze all this. Uh, into uh, my campaigns, but I'm going to give it a go. So um, anyway, that's the uh, that's the new stuff being produced by Schwab Entertainment. On a personal note, I have also ventured into um, potentially um, doing my own set for uh, token set for Roll Twenty. Uh, I featured this in a, an earlier video. Some of the tokens that I've, work, I've been working on for that set, uh, but unfortunately, some things in life kind of got in the way, and, and I had to put that on the back burner. Um, but I am glad to report that I've completed the set, and I'm really ready to um, submit it to Roll Twenty. I've already got approval to submit it. Um, from Roll20, but I am now seeking approval from Schwab Entertainment um, because, you know, I'm using likenesses that come from uh, the core rule book and, and the, set, the uh, various supplements. Um, even though it's original art, I drew all of it myself. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't create the, uh, the monster, so I really don't want to, um, you know, I, I really need to get Schwab Entertainment's approval um, before I, you know, try to get this, uh, this, this, um, token set up on, um, roll 20. I'm really hoping that Schwab Entertainment approves it, um, simply because I know for me, a lot of the tokens that I created for this set were created because I use them in my own Shadow of the Demon Lord games, because there are a lot of creatures in Shadow of the Demon Lord that don't, that aren't represented in other games. So you're, you're going to have a hard time finding a token to represent them. And if you're anything like me, I hate using um, proxy tokens for something that should have its own token. And so, you know, being an artist, I have the ability to draw my own tokens. And so, you know, I, I do that. And I don't see any reason why uh, I shouldn't be able to um, share that with uh, others in the world. Um, and hopefully Schwab Entertainment sees it my way as well. If not, that's fine. I'll probably figure out some way to get it out, um, you know, some other way. But uh, at any rate, uh, hopefully if I get approval from Schwab Entertainment, then we'll get that set up on Roll20 and, um, you know, available for, um, for purchase. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there. I will give you an update um, if and when I hear from uh, Schwab Entertainment and uh, whether or not I get uh, approval for that uh, so that I can uh, let you know when to, to be on the lookout uh, for it in the Roll20 marketplace. So anyway, that's it for tonight's video. Let me go ahead and close this out um, so that I can uh, get started on my next video, which is a campaign diary for the uh, fourth so uh, for now, let me go ahead and uh, draw this to a close. And as always, I close this out with a uh, big fat hearty hail. So hail. <laughs>